Welcome to the driveway garage. My latest project is a 1984 Honda Goldwing Interstate. It's been sitting for four years and it didn't get ridden much before that. The last time it was licensed was about 10 years ago, I think. Let me look here. 2014, eight years ago. The guy told me he rode it a little bit kept it in his hangar till they moved to where we live at and it sat outside a little bit it's not in bad shape I mean it's definitely not pristine there's a little wear on the seat there stitching's coming apart there definitely needs a bath it's been sitting and there's pine needles on it but I just wanted to you know go over it top to bottom and kind of see what it's going to take to make it run so the first thing I did was I started to charge the battery and I thought, well, I better check it before I do that. And on these motorcycle batteries, you can take the top caps off of them. They're laying right there. And it was dry. So I went down to O'Reilly's and I bought some battery acid. I filled them each up. And then I, uh, you're supposed to charge these like one and a half amps, pretty low but I gave it 30 amps for just a few seconds to get a little bit of charge in it because if they're completely dead, the battery charger doesn't recognize them and it won't charge them. So I did that, I got the charger hooked up and let's see if you can see here. When I turn it back on, oh, I unplugged it and I put it away. Anyway, it's holding a charge of about, was it 12.3 volts, I think. So. It seems like the battery, maybe going dry was the best thing for it because it didn't sit for years with stuff in it. I can see here I need to add just a little bit of fluid. I tried to get up to the upper level. That one's just a hair low. Anyway, that's holding the charge. So that's a good thing. That's a hundred bucks I don't have to spend. And then I thought, well, it's been sitting for four years. I'll drain the gas out. I looked at the gas and I smelled it and it didn't smell bad, it smelled like gas. So I disconnected the filter here and then I went to the other side where the fuel pump is, which is right here, and I disconnected the gas line right there and I pulled it back through and I started draining it and it smells just like gasoline, not like varnish. So I think the gas is actually still good in it, whatever's left in there. So I put that back together. And then I pulled one of the spark plugs out. So I got interrupted. I can't remember where it was exactly, but I pulled a spark plug. It looked good. The gas looks good. The battery's holding the charge. So I'm going to get the battery, put it back in. It goes under the left side. I'll call it the drinker side. And I'll put that back in there. And, uh, We'll see if this thing will turn over and start. Well, I gave it the old college try, but I think the battery shot. It had a charge of 12 something in it, but as soon as you start cranking on it, it goes way down. And uh, I think the battery's just shot. So I'm gonna go someplace, get a new battery, put it in there, see what kind of luck I have. Thanks for watching. Um, what else can I tell you about this? It's going to need a lot of work. It's most, mostly cleaning, but once I do get it up and running, I'm going to have to see what's up with the radio. It doesn't seem to want to find an antenna or a station, so maybe the antenna wire is broken or not hooked up someplace. Get it running. Um, there's a pretty good chance I may have to change the timing belt, whether there's one or two, I'm not sure, but after uh, sitting this long, it might not be a bad idea. And I might have to flush the radiator. The oil looks really good, even though it's been sitting. Uh, it's nice and clean, so it hasn't been driven. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's this bike. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, post some other videos while I work on stuff and try to get it running. Hopefully I can get it up and running. I'm leaving tomorrow for a vacation. So 
If it doesn't happen today, it won't happen for a few weeks. The weather's changing. It may get put under a tarp and stored for the winter. Thanks for watching.